EvilNat 491 Flash Writer install tutorial. First, we need to download Rufus, link in description. And we're going to want to scroll down and click on this download, and then drag it to the home page once it's finished downloading. Run the application, and then we are going to want to make sure you've selected your desired USB, you select MS-DOS, and then go to MBR, and then FAT32. Now go down here and click here to begin the process. This is just telling you that all data on your USB will be completely wiped. Click OK and then wait for it to download. Next, we work on the file structure. Open the USB and create a folder that says PS3. And in that folder, create another folder called Update. Now go to the PSX place, link in description. This is the firmware we need to download. So, scroll down to this download link and click on it. Wait for it to download and then drag it into the USB update folder. This will also allow you to do HEN if you do not have a compatible console. Video on that coming as well. Now, when you download the file, it will look like this. So we're going to have to change it to ps 3 updatepup Next, go to your settings and down to date and time settings and set date and time to via internet. Then set automatic to on. Go back and scroll up to system settings and set automatic updates to off. Auto updates will brick your console. Now go to display what's new and turn that off as well. Now go to create new user and log in. Now from here we're going to go to settings and then system update and update via storage media. You should see the 4.91 HFW download and once it is done, it will restart. You are going to want to do this process twice to make sure it's installed properly. Now here we are going to go over to the internet browser to clear the cache and other data. Go and press triangle then go up to tools and then go to confirm browser close and then turn it off. Next we have to press triangle again then go to tools and go to home page and press use blank page and press OK. Now, this process is going to get a little repetitive so press triangle, go to tools and delete the following listed on screen to the left. While you're at it, like and subscribe as it really helps out. Then close the browser and then open the browser back up again, then press start to go to the search bar. Type in the website that's displayed on the screen. We have to now determine whether or not you have a NOR flash or a NAND D flash. PlayStation 3 Slim's models only use NOR. Here are also the jailbreak capable PS3 Slim models. These numbers can be located on the underside of your PlayStation 3. The fat PS3s can use either or depending on the model you have. The models displayed on screen are the jailbreak-capable PS3 FAT models. These numbers can also be located on the underside of your fat and dirty PlayStation 3. Once you have figured out what model you have, you can proceed. I have a NOR, a SLIM, so I will be doing this one. Next, we must press Run Check and wait for it to download the Flash Patch. Once it is complete, wait for it to load the Dump NOR Flash memory icon. After it's done, dump the flash, and then we're going to go to the EvilNAT website. Once you're on the website for the EvilNAT download, scroll down to the Megafile download right here. Link in description. Click on it, and wait for it to load. After it's loaded, go ahead and click on Beta 9. Go to PEX, and double-click this, and it will download. After this, we have to install Pi PS3 Checker, link in description. Open up the website, and go to the standalone package down in the bottom left corner, and there will be two ways to download this. You can download it from here, or from the View Raw section. Once it's done downloading, then drag it to the home page and extract it. Now we are going to right-click on this file, go down to Extract All, and then from your USB from the flash dump, you will have a PS3 flash dump 491 OFW.bin file in your USB by dragging and dropping it into the drag and dump file in the Pi PS3 checker file. Once this is done, it will tell you if you have any dangers or warnings, and if you do have dangers or warnings, you are going to want to restart this whole process. If for whatever reason you do brick your system at any time you will be able to fix it with your flash backup so save it. Create a folder and place it in it then store it in a safe place like a SSD. 
Now we have to check the hash of the evil NAT CFW. Click and extract it with a program like 7-Zip. Wait for the extract. And then go into the folder and open PS3. Update and copy the PS3 updat.pup file. Then go over to your USB, open up PS3, update and delete the old PS3 updat.pup file and install the new one. Now go back into the extracted EvilNAT file and go to the MD5 file and keep it open. Proceed to then go to the MD5 file check some website, link in description. Extract the file and then once that is done, open the file up and go into the PS3 folder, then the update, and click on the ps 3 updatepup file and wait for the hash to load so you can verify they are the same. This is so you don't install the wrong file by accident and brick your console. Next we head over to the PS3 and plug your USB back into the right USB port. And then proceed to dump the flash. All of this should take a while to download or install, so don't worry your console is not frozen. After this is done, we are going to want to turn off the system and then preform a recovery mode. Turn off the PS3, plug in the USB drive into right port, and then hold down the PS3 power button and hold it down until the PS3 turns off. Then hold it down again until you hear two beeps. Now plug in your controller and then scroll down to System Update and press X. Press Select and start to preform the update, and follow the prompts on screen until there are no more. Now you have successfully jailbroken your PlayStation 3 with EvilNAT 4.91 using FlashWriter. Please like and subscribe.